applications in this video we are going to see a nice real analysis problem asked in uh, uh, 2004 December as well as 2018 December same problem is repeated two times and this problem is regarding derivative of the function f okay so if you if you know the geometric meaning of uh, derivative that is derivative of f at a point is equal to slope of the tangent to the curve at the point then this problem is easy to solve okay so in my last video i have explained this result the geometric meaning of derivative i have given the link to this video in the description please check there is also a physical interpretation of uh, uh, derivative okay that is also very equally important so you can check that video also that video link also given in the description so let's look at this problem let f be a continuously differentiable function on r Note that continuously doesn't mean that you can keep, uh, you can continuously differentiate. No, that is not true. Okay, continuously differentiable function means f prime exists and this f prime as a function, it is continuous. Okay, this is what we say continuously differentiable function. Don't uh, misunderstand it like you can infinitely differentiate the function. That is not true. Now, it is given that limit extends to infinity f of x plus f prime of x equal to L. Suppose 0 less than L less than infinity, then which of the following statements are is are correct. Okay, so it is a part C problem. So, more than one option can be true. So, if limit extends to infinity f prime of x exists, then it is 0. Limit extends to infinity f of x exists, then it is L. If limit extends to infinity f prime of x exists, then limit extends to infinity f of x equal to 0. If limit extends to infinity f of x exists, then limit extends to infinity f prime of x equal to L, where L is this limit value. Okay. Now, let's look at some ex look at some simple examples of functions satisfying this condition. So, if so, simplest function is constant function. So, we take f of x to be 1, constant function 1 then it is clearly a continuously differentiable function. So, if you look at limit extends to infinity f of x, okay, if it is a constant function 1, if you look at the graph of the function, so at limit as extends to infinity, the function goes to 1, okay. Uh, maybe quickly I will uh, tell what is the definition of uh, uh, limit at infinity, then it is very clear. So, we say that limit extends to infinity f of x equal to L if whenever sequence xn converges to infinity, then f of xn should converge to L. Okay. So this is a called sequential criterion for limit at infinity. We call we can take this as a definition of limit at infinity. Okay. So with this definition, if you consider the constant function 1 for all x as a function from r to r, so you take any sequence xn that is goes to infinity, then f of xn, this is equal to 1 for all n, this implies f of xn, the sequence converges to 1, okay. So, whenever xn tends to infinity, f of xn total goes to 1, therefore limit extends to infinity, f of x equal to 1, okay. Now, for, if for this function, the derivative is 0 function. So, for the same reason, limit extends to infinity f prime of x equal to 0. Okay. So, now we can calculate the value L for this constant function f. So, f of x is 1. f prime of x is 0. Therefore, limit extends to infinity f of x plus f prime of x is equal to limit extends to infinity f of x because this is 0 but limit extends to infinity f of x equal to 1. Therefore, L equal to 1. Okay. Now, let us uh, see options 3 and 4 with just this of first very simple example of constant function we can eliminate two options. So, in the option 3 they are saying that if limit extends to infinity f prime of x exists then limit extends to infinity f of x equal to 0. Here limit extends to infinity f prime of x exists but limit extends to infinity f of x is not equal to 0. Therefore, third option is false. Okay. Similarly, if limit extends to infinity f of x exists, then limit extends to infinity f prime of x equal to L. Here, L equal to 1. But here, limit extends to infinity f of x equal to 1, which exists. 
but limit extends in f prime of x equal to 0 which is not equal to 1 therefore these two options are easily uh, eliminated by considering very simple constant functions okay so in the remaining uh, options we claim that these two options are indeed true okay so let's see uh, if this limit exists then we claim that these two options are true let's see how to prove it okay okay first we see some examples of limits of a function at infinity so if you consider the graph of the function e power x what happens is so if the graph looks like this okay so as limit extends to infinity e power x is goes to infinity therefore therefore for the function f of x to equal e power x the limit is at infinity is infinity similarly if you look at the function log x okay so it goes like this at 1 log 1 is 0 and it is increases to infinity so so for log x also limit extends to infinity g of x equal to infinity you see because the graph is goes to infinity as you x goes to infinity in both the cases okay so now if but we if you look at uh, sin x okay so in sin x uh, we claim that limit extends to infinity sin x that does not exist why because if limit exists then you take any sequence x and goes to infinity limit should goes to a one particular number real okay so to show that limit at infinity does not exist we have to exhibit two sequences xn and yn such that xn goes to infinity yn goes to infinity but f of xn goes to some l1 f of yn goes to some l2 l1 not equal to l2 then limit at infinity does not exist okay now note that sin pi by 2 is 1 sin 90 degrees 1 sin is a periodic function of period 2 pi so if you take xn to be 2 n pi plus pi by 2 then this sequence is anyway converges to infinity because there is a n here other things are constant so this uh, sequence xn goes to infinity but f of xn equal to f of 2 n pi plus pi by 2 that is equal to f of pi by 2 uh, that is equal to sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 therefore for this sequence image sequences goes to 1 similarly if you can con consider y n equal to 2 n pi sin 0 is 0 so sin 2 n pi is also 0 therefore image sequence goes to 0 but y n goes to infinity so you have two different sequences goes to infinity whose image sequences are converges to two distinct points okay 0 not equal to 1 therefore for sin x limit x does not exist okay now suppose the limit at infinity exists okay that means that as x tends to infinity the graph of the function should goes to l suppose l is the limit okay so uh, so here we are assuming that limit x tends to infinity f of x equal to l okay uh, so the curve has to be like this at uh, so in other words the line y equal to l so this is the line y equal to l that will be parallel to x axis and every point in this line will have a y coordinate equal to l so this line the curve should approaches the line at infinity in other words this y line y equal to l has to be the tangent to this curve at the point infinity okay or uh, uh, i think geometrically it is clear then only we will get this uh, this limit okay limit is equal to l only if this line has to be the tangent to the curve at the point infinity therefore now as i said we in the previous video we saw that derivative of a function f at the point a is equal to the tangent to the curve the slope of the tangent to the curve at the point a for example if you calculate the uh, derivative of the function f at this point a so then this is the derivative this is the tangent to the curve f at this point a and uh, if you calculate the slope of this line okay it is uh, then that will be the derivative of the function f at a similarly if uh, if you want to calculate the derivative at this point you calculate the slope at this point okay now if you calculate the we want to calculate limit extends to infinity uh, so we want to calculate limit x tends to infinity f prime of x okay we are assuming that limit x tends to infinity f of x equal to l 
we want to calculate limit extends to infinity f prime of x okay now but this f prime of x is nothing but a slope of these tangent lines at x tends to infinity uh, these tangent lines going to be coincide with a line parallel to x axis in our the tangent line is going to be uh, the x equal to l line okay but the uh, tan uh, but the slope of the line uh, i think this is uh, y equal to n l sorry for the typo y equal to l line but slope of the line slope of this line y equal to l is zero because the slope of the x axis is zero any two parallel lines have the same slope okay so we conclude that this limit is zero because each of them this f prime of x represents the slope of the tangents as x tends to infinity the tangent tangents are approaching y equal to l line therefore its a derivative its a slope will also approach the slope of the line y equal to l but y equal to l line has slope zero therefore this is zero okay so first we claim that limit extends to f of x exists okay under the given assumptions so limit extends to infinity f of x like you can multiply numerator and denominator e power x okay now we want to calculate limit x tends to infinity g of x by h of x where g of x is this function h of x is this function note that limit x tends to infinity h of x equal to infinity because limit x tends to infinity e power x is infinity we just saw that okay now we going to use l hospital rule okay so let's see what is the statement of l hospital rule so this statement is from principles of mathematical analysis by walter rubin see it is a very good book for real analysis so please have a look at this book so it, the statement is uh, suppose f and g are real and differentiable in open a comma b and g prime of x is not equal to zero for all x belongs to open a comma b suppose f prime of x by g prime of x tend to a some limit as x tends to a then uh, I, okay suppose this is the first hypothesis if f of x tends to 0 and g of x tends to 0 as x tends to a or g of x tends to infinity as x tends to a then f of x by g of x converges to uh, f of x by g of x tends to a as x tends to a okay so in our if you look at this our uh, our limit we want to calculate limit x tends to infinity g of x by h of x okay so this is the limit we want to calculate as uh, you know that this a can be a and b can be infinity also because less than or equal to is given so we want to calculate uh, at infinity this limit now to calculate g f of x by g of x you can calculate f prime of x by g prime of x and the limit will be same provided the denominator should goes to infinity as x tends to a okay but the denominator is e power x that goes to infinity therefore calculating this limit is equal to calculating the derivative of numerator and the denominator and you apply the limit okay so that is what we going to do so limit x tends to infinity g prime of x by h prime of x equal to so g prime of x is e of e power x into f of x h prime of x equal to e power x e power x prime so this is if you use a product rule you get e power x f prime of x plus f of x e power x prime that is e power x by e power x so you can cancel the e power x you get limit x tends to infinity f of x plus f prime of x that is equal to l okay therefore limit x tends to infinity g prime of x by h prime of x equal to l okay therefore this limit is also equal to l but this limit is equal to limit x tends to infinity f of x okay therefore if this limit exists then this limit is also exists and equal to this quantity okay okay now let's go to the options so it is given that this quantity this limit exists okay therefore we just prove that this limit also exists and it is equal to l therefore second option is true in the beginning we saw that if limit of f of x exists and if it is equal to some l then the derivative the slope of the tangents goes to zero therefore 
first option is also correct that is, if limit x tends to infinity f prime of x exists then it should goes to zero okay okay guys if you learned something new from this video please click the like button and share with your friends if you want me to do some particular uh, problems from csir exam or some particular uh, uh, topic you want me to teach please uh, use has suggestion and then use uh, to put the title name like a kashi's theorem something like that okay i will be very happy to teach you guys thank you